Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Haley. I have mitochondrial disease and I have other chronic illnesses alongside it and I make content all about life with a chronic illness and if you enjoy that type of content, hit the subscribe button down below. I would love for you to be a part of my channel, but it has been a very long time since I have posted a video on YouTube and I am so so sorry for just falling off the face of the earth and just like not explaining anything. I know back in February I put that I was in the hospital on my community tab. I'm fine now. I'll get into that in a minute of what that was about and said I would return and I just didn't. And honestly, I can't really tell you why I've been gone. Um, Obviously, a lot of things have happened since I've been gone that I'm going to update you guys on in this video, but none of it truly contributed. I I just, I don't know what it was, honestly. I just, videos just didn't get posted. But I have started vlogging again, and I'm now making this video to post, so I'm going to update all of you guys on basically the first half of this year because I haven't posted a video since January. So I'm going to just hop right into it and get you guys updated because there's a lot that's been going on in my life this year. Um, yeah. Alright, so starting off in January, I'm pretty sure in the last video I posted, which was back in January, I shared more about this, but because this year I turned 21, I had to switch doctors because my primary care doctor was still a pediatrician and my GI care was um, in pediatrics. Um, I'm pretty sure it's all the same for all U.S. states. I'm not 100% sure, but I know in my state, at least in the hospital system and medical system I'm in, is that I'm you're actually able to see any doctor in pediatrics up to the age of 21, um, especially if you have complex health conditions. And so that was the case for me, but in being in turning 21 this year, that changed. 21 is a cutoff because of licensing and also because of liability insurance for doctors. So that is why I had to switch. And in January, I kind of started that process of interviewing doctors after researching a bunch of different doctors for a while. So I started that process in January officially. And also in January, on January 13th, I celebrated Willow's first birthday, which is so insane that she's one she's one and a half now and I just it blows my mind she grew so so fast and I mean German Shepherds oh by the way Willow's my dog <laughs> um if you didn't know um they grow so fast but I don't know man it's just wild and the year flew by but also like I don't remember a life without her in it and she is just she just adds so much to my life and helps keep me going and helps me on so many different levels and I'm so grateful for that. So I celebrated her first birthday, had a little photo shoot, I'll put some photos on the screen and yeah. So she got a little birthday treat. Sorry, I put Willow in her crate while I filmed this video and she proceeded to start playing with one of her toys in theirs and was being really, really loud. So. I stopped recording for a minute until she quieted down, so sorry about that disruption. But I'm now going to get into February, which I want to make a more in-depth video on this experience in the future and like what helped me um, throughout it. But at the beginning of February, I did in fact test positive for COVID and... Ugh. I do want to say before I get into any more of this, I am extremely grateful because I, I mean, it wasn't a mild presentation of COVID, but it wasn't severe. I didn't, um, my oxygen sats were good the whole time. Um, and even though I found out in the most dramatic and scary way possible, I thankfully just, it really sucked is what I'm trying to say. It sucked, but it could have been so much worse. And I just want to say I'm very grateful it wasn't worse um, and that I ended up getting through it. And I have no long-term COVID symptoms. I don't have long COVID at all. And I didn't have any lingering symptoms after I got over COVID, except for a cough that went away on its own. And I'm just really grateful for that. And I was able to 
be at home for a majority of the time I was recovering from COVID. Um, and thankfully, well not thankfully, but my mom got COVID, but we were the only two in the entire house who got it. So thankfully my dad and my brothers didn't get it because that was a big concern. But into how I found out, which like I said, I'll go more into the details in another video. But long story short, we thought I either had a blood clot or a line infection, but that was definitely an experience. And it took me pretty much the whole month of February to just recover from that. But by the last week of February, first week of March, I was back to my baseline. It could have been worse and I'm glad it wasn't. Um, but yeah, moving into a little bit of lighter tone um, in March, we celebrated Willow's Gachi Day. So her birthday was, first birthday was in January, but her Gachi Day was in March. So that was fun. I just reminisced and looked at puppy pictures and cried because she's grown so much. And I just love her to pieces. Um, and also in March, I turned 21. So two things. My doctor's officially switched over, so I have a new primary care doctor now, and she's she's good for this point in time. Um, and then I have a GI who I really, really, really like, really like. But uh, I just I just found out the other day that she's moving out of state, so to be determined if insurance will cover an out of state doctor. But anyways, that's just the fun life of chronic illness. But anyways, yeah. So I officially switched over that and my new doctors took over my TBN and my IV infusions and whatnot. Also, I forgot to mention, when I was in the hospital in February, they did blood work obviously and I was anemic. My iron was low. So keep that in mind. We'll get there. So like I said, I turned 21 in March and for my 21st birthday, thankfully, I was fully recovered and back to my baseline and strong and healthy to be able to go on a birthday trip, which had been a plan for a couple of years, honestly, to go on a weekend trip for my 21st birthday. And so me, my mom, my older sister, and my best friend, Rebecca, all went to the beach and it was such a fun weekend. I had so much fun and it was, I did not realize how much my heart and soul just needed that and to just be able to have time where I felt normal and I wasn't focusing on my health issues like I had been and it was just really really nice and relaxing and just like the greatest birthday a birthday trip and I just have so many fond memories um, but if you are curious I did I'll explain but I did try alcohol because that's something I did want to do. <laughs> so you're probably like, so Haley, um, you have all these health issues, you're on medication, is it safe for you to drink alcohol? And the answer is not really. But I knew because I've always been curious about the taste of alcohol and like what all the hype is about it. I'm just like, I want a sip of alcohol and that was my plan, just like a sip or two um on my 21st birthday so i could like have that rite of passage experience it and be like okay i've experienced it i've tasted it now i'm going on with life um and even without health issues i don't even know if i would be much of a drinker just for a few few different reasons um but my first my first sip of alcohol was a margarita in a can a mango margarita in a can I don't recommend margarita in a can being your first sip of alcohol because that burns my throat and I was just like, I do not understand why people want to drink this. Like it, mm, I did not like it. I did not like it. But then the next day we went to an actual like restaurant bar combo. I said that's so weird. I'm, I don't know. I guess it was a bar technically, but we ate dinner there. And I ordered a strawberry margarita and honestly I still think about it and I would have gotten it ordered another one like without alcohol except I can't handle sugar at all but it was so good you could barely taste the alcohol in there and it was just it was so good so good and I ended up taking about like four or five sips um it was just really good I didn't expect that it was gonna take more than two but I still treaded very carefully because I just knew with my pancreas issues, I, yeah, 
Um, so I gave my sister the rest of the margarita to share. So I got that experience and it was really good. And like I said, I still think about it because it just tasted so good. Um, but yeah, that was my first like real experience with alcohol. Um, it's not gonna be a regular occurrence. It's not worth it. Uh, it's not worth my health for a really good tasty drink. Um, but I did enjoy it. I did enjoy the experience and I didn't drink much of it and I'm totally fine with that. And if you're in a similar situation, you're not alone and there's absolutely nothing wrong with choosing not to drink for any reason, big or small. In April, I got me and my family spent that month preparing because in April, my older sister got married and I was honored to be in her wedding. I was one of her bridesmaids and it was such a beautiful day. She got married Easter weekend and it was just so beautiful and I'm so happy for her and her husband and it was, it turned out stunning and I just have to give an amazing shout out to my mom who was the wedding planner. She like made sure everything like just everything turned out amazing and it's all because of her and our family friends who helped us throughout the process um, and it was very much a family and friend affair and it was just such a beautiful wedding and I am so grateful to my body because I was able to do way more than I thought I would have been able to do that day and that just makes me so happy so happy that I get to have all of these memories with my sister and my body just kind of gave me a break. It did take me days to recover from the wedding, but it was well worth it and I'm so happy. Um, and I'm not going to include photos just to respect my sister's privacy, but just know it was a stunning, beautiful wedding. I might put like a selfie of me and my mom or me, just so you kind of know what my dress looked like and whatnot. But had that was April and that was really exciting and um, also in April I started an oral iron supplement because my I had anemia because of an iron deficiency and it was not very good but it was at a point where it's like I could try the oral iron before an IV infusion and so never again never again I I'm not going to fully explain because it's a little TMI, but just Google the most common side effect from taking iron, an iron supplement. It was absolutely awful. The iron supplement I took shut down my entire GI system. It was awful. I was in so much pain and long story short, I stopped taking the supplement and I was just like, mm -mm. We are stopping this for right now, but then a couple months, not a couple months, sorry, a couple weeks later, a couple weeks later, yeah, it was like a couple weeks, a month later, I made the decision that I was just going to get an iron infusion. And so I went and got an iron infusion to help my anemia and then found out I had to have eight more iron infusions because of the brand and the dose. So love that. I still got to finish them because in June, me and my family went on vacation and I vlogged the entire experience and it was super fun and we took Willow and she did phenomenal and yeah, I'll just give you a little sneak peek tidbit. We road tripped to Indiana because my family was able to, has been able to get an RV so we road tripped to Indiana from our house to pick up our RV and then took the long way home and we went to a lot of places and it was really fun and way more on that in future videos. But with that, there are more videos coming. I have a lot of ideas, um, but let me know if you guys have any ideas as well and comment them down below. But don't forget to like this video so more people will see it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.